On this International Women's Day, the world celebrates its women and their remarkable achievements over many decades. But we also gather to reflect on the year that has gone and to look ahead to where our efforts are still required to advance gender equality. Global news in the past year has been rife with shocking stories of gang rapes, the felling of female students and campaigners for women's rights, and the terrible vulnerability of women and girls in situations of conflict around the world. Violence against women and girls in its various guises remains an appalling, unabated blight on all our nations, including Australia. So it's timely that the elimination of violence against women is our focus for International Women's Day and for deliberations of this year's Commission on the Status of Women at the United Nations. In the face of unrelenting accounts of attacks on the world's women and girls, it's easy to become disheartened. This is a key reason why the 8th of March is such an important date on our common calendar, because it's an opportunity to come together and standing side by side, be reminded of what a potent voice for change we are, individually and collectively. This day tells us we are right to strive for societies where women and girls live in dignity, free of violence and coercion. In our homes, our workplaces, our schools and universities, whether working alone or in concert with others, we belong to a formidable cause and our efforts will prevail. I celebrate this International Women's Day at the Commission for the Status of Women in New York as part of the family of government, diplomatic and civil society representatives for whom there is no goal more important than gender equality. Australia takes a compelling story to this conference and I'm proud of the work we are showcasing, programs which speak eloquently of the commitment of our government and equally civil society to advance gender equality. In the past year alone, Australia has launched new initiatives in Afghanistan, the Pacific, Indonesia and Cambodia to combat violence against women. Our Pacific Women Shaping Pacific Development Program will support the historic Pacific Leaders Gender Equality Declaration signed in 2012. We are working closely and effectively with UN Women across a range of global and regional programs and as a member of the agency's executive board since January. And we've been actively implementing our National Action Plan on Women, Peace and Security since its launch this time last year. As a member of the United Nations Security Council, we're working to bring focus to the disproportionate impact of conflict on women and girls. This International Women's Day, let us intensify our resolve to eliminate violence against women. And let us remember that no voice will go unheard, especially when we are working together.